So in some sense, what's left for telcos is still a very big piece. I mean, so you're still talking about you know building up uh, you know fiber networks to the home. We'll put the up towers for uh, wireless communication and such like. Uh, this is what's really left to the telcos. That's the, the domain providing basically what are scornfully called uh, dumb pipes. But that's really the natural realm for them. That's mm-hmm. what they should really be doing, providing dumb pipes and not try to play in an area that they are culturally and structurally not suited for, namely content. Uh, and there is a long history going back centuries to the days of uh, of ordinary snail mail, of uh, 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 carriers, uh, communication carriers being fascinated by content. But that's not what's really their main value they're providing. It was connectivity that mattered. Providing dump pipes does require substantial skills, being able to connect any of the many billions of people on Earth mm-hmm with the ability to communicate with anybody else and do it reliably, that takes a lot of funding, a lot of skills. In that case, that's what telco should be doing. Uh, In some sense, you could have argued, uh, some have argued, I I certainly thought so back a couple of decades ago, that telcos could get into what we now call the cloud infrastructure big data centers and so on uh, well they failed at it they tried but they failed the platform companies to cover that area too which again i think maybe that was kind of uh, foreordained by uh, kind of kind of cultural backgrounds of them and so on so yes i mean there are different contributions you can compare them but basically i see you no know, telcos and the platform companies as complementary mm-hmm. uh, uh, kind of, uh, they should each uh, stick to their own uh, kind of knitting in, in that sense, and uh, kind of uh, go on. 